couple of people mentioned to me um, in the UK that um, despite the heat, that they have been feeling really, really sad, almost like sort of wintry blues. Um, and one person mentioned that they wondered if it was sad seasonal affective disorder. And I had a real long think about this. And I don't think seasonal affective disorder kicks in that quickly. I mean, I don't know. I don't know an awful lot about it. To me, um, I know it's about the light and how much light we receive, but um, I think it's actually a vitamin D deficiency because I think that we're all quite deficient here anyway in the UK because of our position and the amount of sunlight we get. But I think it's too early. And even with the hot weather, it just seems strange that people would be feeling sort of fairly blue and obviously some people don't like the winter and don't like the autumn so that that plays a part as well but i was thinking about this and i wonder if we're actually tapping into some sort of ancestral energy so i said that it gets quite cold here in september living in a house like this and it got me thinking about like victorian times and it got me thinking about the fact that you know, if you go even further back, people would be concerned about the winter. They'd be worried about their animals, they'd be worried about their livestock, they'd be worried about old relatives, and a lot of people die in the winter. And it is a tough, hard time to work through. And I was wondering if sometimes, you know, the more and more in touch we become with the seasons, and the wheel of the year and the winter and also our ancestors you know a lot of us we we sort of work to honor um, and venerate our ancestors and i wonder if we're tapping into that preparing for winter concern for winter kind of feelings and that's making people sad i don't know what do you think it was just it was just a little thought that i had that just i spent a little bit of time thinking about um you know, even in Victorian times, it's not that long ago. So if you think how long humans have been around for, um, up to very, very recently, concern for winter um, and surviving it and getting through it and dealing with everything that you have to deal with would have been um, a very strong thing. You know, everyone would have felt that. I mean, I know from living in this house, just like how wet and damp everything gets, it would have been a complete nightmare, to be honest, living in any house back then. Um, winters would be really tough, really uncomfortable and not very nice. It'd probably be much nicer being in a roundhouse, to be honest, with a fire going. It would be much, much nicer than living in a stone building. But just that ancestral energy from absolutely any point beyond and um, even living relatives I mean if my nan was still here I'm sure she'd be able to tell me um, stories about what it was like back in the 30s and 40s so yeah I just wonder what do you think uh, getting the blues in September um, when you're not particularly feeling too bothered about the winter but why would that be um, especially when we've had like 32 degrees sunshine here why would people get the blues in September let me know what you think if you think there is a reason above and beyond just not really enjoying this part of year I'd love to know what you think